Good morning, it's Desley Taylor here from Mortgage Choice in Ormo. I'm just wanting to discuss today the interest rate cuts that we've had of late and how they actually impact our clients and what it means to you. So as you've probably heard, the uh, official cash rate is sitting at just on half a percent. That's very, very different to the interest rate that we're actually paying on our home loans. So your interest rate on your home loan is much higher. Uh, and when I say much higher, it's not that much higher. We're, we're sitting on average, you're looking at around you know, 3% in the high twos, in the low threes, depending on the product that you've got. What I want to explain to you is when the interest rates are cut and they do announce the interest rate cuts, the banks will normally advise that they'll be passing on the full cut or a percentage of the cut on their variable rates normally. Now, those cuts will actually be in place normally a week, two weeks, three weeks after the actual announcement. So it's not immediate, it does happen, but and it'll happen within the month, but it's not instant. So we just need to remember that it doesn't happen instantly, but it will automatically happen. Normally you will get a notification from the lender, but sometimes you don't. Okay, but in saying that, it's always well worth reviewing your home loan at that point regardless um, and looking at whether or not the lenders can give you even better rates on top of what you've already got. Now, I want, then want to highlight to you uh, what that, uh, how that affects your fixed rates. Now, if you're already locked into a fixed rate and you're trying to get out of a fixed rate to obtain a better variable rate, you are at risk of actually paying penalties to do that at the moment. Some banks will charge penalties, some banks don't. Uh, it's, a, it's a day by day equation that the bank will actually be able to advise. So we really need to ascertain sort of whether or not it's going to be financially viable to break out of the current rate you've got into, a, into another interest rate, into another product to try and save you a little bit of money. Now, that being said, the fixed rates don't drop automatically in line with the variable rates. So the banks will actually drop the fixed rates at any time. So it's not when the reserve bank meet, it is any time. But on the flip side of that, they can put those fixed rates up at any time as well. With a fixed rate, it's always best to speak with your, your broker in regards to looking at making sure that you know, you're locking in at the right time. Do they forecast that the interest rates are gonna to continue to drop? Because the last thing you wanna do is lock into a fixed rate and then in six months time, the rates are another half a percent lower. So it's really educating yourself in regards to what's happening in the economy, what's happening in the, in the financial sector and see whether or not we, we've got indicators that the fixed rates are gonna to continue to drop. So basically, in a nutshell, your variable rates, they will drop. However, they don't drop immediately. It can take up to sort of a month to see those drops on your actual statements. Uh, but with the fixed rates, unfortunately, you know, sort of if you are fixed, you are locked in, um, but those rates don't automatically drop. We just need to keep monitoring those fixed rates in, and every month just review where the fixed rates are at to see whether or not they have reduced them and at what point they are reducing them. So I hope that gives you a little bit of an insight in regards to the interest rates and, and how they actually do and don't work. But once again, it is always important to constantly review your home loan, review your interest rates, and we're here to help you do that and make sure that your lender's giving you the best rates possible. So uh, any questions, give us a call. Have a great day. Bye now.